What's up guys, it's Brooksy, and today we are going to be talking about how to do the vertical J-hook approach in Star Citizen in the big boys. This is the Crusader M2 Hercules Star Lifter, and you can actually fly a really spicy approach using this technique. The first thing you do want to do is quantum travel to your target, which we just did, and as soon as you exit quantum travel, lift that crosshair up to the zero degree line on your HUD. This is going to level us out, which means we're going to be able to stay high and be faster and close that distance into the target much quicker than flying a uh, negative degree glide slope down into the target. You can see here that I rolled 90 degrees to the left. That has two purposes. One, I can actually see the landing zone and kind of help fit, um, orientate myself in regard to the landing area, and two, I can use this monitor in the bottom left side of the screen as kind of a placeholder. You can see as soon as I kind of get halfway on that screen with that landing area, I go ahead and roll inverted. When I'm in this inverted, I'm pulling back as hard as I can on the stick, and I'm using my vertical thrust up to help bring the nose around faster. As soon as I enter that downward portion of this maneuver, I put the gear down and I enter VTOL mode. That's going to help us slow down as we start to enter the atmosphere. Use a little bit of burst um, on the top side of that maneuver um, while you're still high because it's going to give you more bang for your buck. Uh, make sure that you use your lights in situations like these where you can't really see your landing area. You want to be picking up a landing spot as soon as you can. As soon as you pick up the landing spot, you're actually going to want to kind of aim just a bit below it so that way when you round out you'll be carried right over it and then you can vertical thrust downward. I'm waiting for 1.3 kilometers, there it is. I initiated my slowdown right there, my speed limiter dropped to 50 and now I'm picking up that landing zone. There it is, I finally see it a bit late at 500 meters. I shallow out my dive and then I bring the crosshair up to the zero degree on the HUD and that has just carried me directly over the building and now I'm just lowering myself down on the building resetting that crosshair to zero degrees for an even touchdown platform. As soon as I touch down, I go ahead and drop the ramp, and I'll switch external so you guys can see that. As I said, right over top of the building, I switched external, and now we're dropping the ramp. This is when all the guys are dropping out. I feel bad for the Marines in the front because they have a bit of a fall, but the guys coming out the backside would be totally fine. They'd be up on the hill over there. Uh, while I'm waiting for the Marines to offload, I'm getting ready for the departure. I'm setting my speed limiter all the way back up to max. As soon as I get the go-ahead, uh, the ramp comes up. And I'm going to use my vertical thrust to get as far away from the ground as I possibly can. Vertical thrust up. There it is. Get away from the ground. And immediately full power with burner. Gears up. VTOL mode is disengaged. And we're flying. And that's it, guys. That's how you do the vertical J-hook approach. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, just leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the verse. See you!